Pontiac Strategy Spotlight. I'm your host, Christian Backey, and today we're going to be talking about data and using them on your campaigns. Data comes in many forms and can be used in a variety of ways to help your campaign. Today, we're going to look at a few of the types of data that you can utilize, as well as the pros and cons of each of them. But first, let's talk about the types of audience data and how to use it. Audience data is information that can be layered onto campaigns to target to specific groups of users. The two main types of data utilized are first party and third party. First party data typically comes in the form of CRM lists with users' names, email addresses, postal addresses, and more, and third party, which is prepackaged by a company who sells data specifically, such as Oracle, Grapeshot, CrossX, and more. Third party data allows you to choose parameters of users based on behavioral, demographical, contextual, brand safety categories, and more. Contextual targeting allows you to scan the page that the ads will deliver on for specific keywords. This way, if your keyword appears in that article, we can target that placement with one of your advertisements. Contextual targeting is extremely useful because it doesn't require cookies. Demographic and behavioral targeting allow you to target ads to users based on their search history, confirm status, and many more factors. You can search through our entire database of third-party audiences in our audiences section of the platform. You can select the specific type, whether it's behavioral, demographic, or contextual, and use the keyword search function in order to hone in on a specific audience of your choosing. These are extremely helpful as it allows you to focus onto a specific set of users as opposed to trying to deliver to users on a specific site. This allows you to target large websites such as Yahoo, MSN, CNN, and more while still hitting your desired audience. You can pick one or many of these and layer these together to find specific groups, such as females in age 35 to 45. Though you may be targeting to the correct user, there may be some downfalls to utilizing data. Third-party providers charge users in order to utilize their data. This comes in the form of an additional CPM. One of the other downfalls is it reduces audience size. If you deliver to CNN and only to a specific demographic, you're missing out on many impressions though the impressions you do deliver will be much more effective. Now that we have a grasp on third-party audiences, let's talk about first-party data. First-party data can come in a variety of factors, such as the ones we talked about earlier, to deliver to specific users that we have information on. One of the best examples of this is through a company called LiveRamp. We work with LiveRamp to take offline CRM lists of current customer bases, prospects, and more, and create an audience specifically of the user's information that we upload. This can be done through postal addresses, names, email addresses, and mobile phone numbers. All of this information is anonymized and sent to us in the form of an audience that we can deliver ads to. While this is still extremely effective as we're targeting specific users, the fact that you're delivering to a specific list will greatly reduce the number of impressions depending on the size of the audience. The last type of audience you can build is a custom audience. This is another type of first party audience that you can create directly in the platform. These, since they're built directly in the platform, do not have an additional cost associated with them, but they can still greatly reduce the audience size that you're looking at. These can be built of device IDs, IP addresses, zip codes, lat long coordinates, and specific URLs. Now that you have an understanding of the different types of data that you can utilize on campaigns, you can learn more about each one specifically by checking out the link in the description to our wiki. And as always, thank you for watching.